Chapter 13, A Safe Home. Worm transported Drake, Fall, and the three invisible dragons back to Queen Sophia's castle. They landed beside the nest on top of the tower. The four baby dragons were listening to Diego tell a story. Carlo sat in the nest with them. Layla was perched on a tower wall in case the babies, babies tried to climb it again. The baby dragons chirped happily when they saw Fig and their parents. They scrambled out of their nest and tumbled over one another, one another in their excitement. Tana and Yere, who was fully invisible now, lowered their heads. They nuzzled all of their babies. Dre looked at the little dragon's four heads. No horns yet, he told Val. We got here in time. Carlos climbed out of the nest, and Drake and Val ran to him and Diego. You found the parent, Diego cried, and the missing baby too. That's Fig. She followed us to the island, Drake explained. We got the fruit from the dragon tree. Fig ate hers, but we need to find the other, ba the other dra baby dragons right away. Diego made a high chirping sound. And Fig's four siblings turned their heads. Then they scampered to Diego and lined up in front of him. Good dragons, he said, and he fed the babies as Fall handed him the fruit one by one. Just as Fig had done, the four wee dragons glowed brightly from the magic of the fruit. At that moment, Queen Sophia arrived in the tower. He, her eyes widened at the side of Tana and Yere. The queen turned to Diego. You're certainly right to trust Great Worm and Val. Well done, all of you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Drake and Val sat together. They both bowed. I have prepared a home for these dragons on the castle grounds. The queen continued. Please let this dragon family know they may live here as long as they like. Drake heard word in his head. Tan and Yeri were, are very grateful. The dragon parents said thank you, Drake reported. Diego bowed to Queen Sophia. You are still kind, dear Queen. May I have your relief to go back to my cottage? I will I will return shortly to check on the dragons. As you wish, wizard, the queen replied. Drake turn Diego turned to Drake, Carlos, and Val. Say your goodbyes to these invisible dragons. It is time for us all to head home. Val squeezed Fig and Drake saw a tear roll down Val's cheek. Oh, Fig, I'll miss you, Val said. But you are going to be ha so happy here with your family. Drake heard the heartbreak in Val's voice. It's too bad Val isn't Fig's dragon master, he thought. Chapter 14, Diego's idea, poof. Diego used magic to return to his cottage. Worm transported Drake, Vault, Carlos, and Aloy there too. That was quite an adventure, Drake, Diego said. Wall frowned. I miss Fega already. I understand, Drake said. I make friends on every adventure I go on. It's never easy to say goodbye. Carlos friend, but sometimes we get to say hello again, like when, like when Drake comes to visit, and I'm sure we can help Diego when she, he, he checks on the dragon dragons back at the castle. Lil gave a sm small smile. I like that. Then Val's eyes got wide. Something is licking my arm. The air began to simmer purple and green. Fig appeared. Fig, do you have to ride with Worm again? Val asked. The little dra dragon ran in circle around Val. I'm happy to see you too, but you have to stop running away from your nest, Val called it. We'll get a message to the castle so your parents won't worry. Diego stroked his beard. Mm, I haven't thought, but we need to go to Bragan to find out if I'm right. First, we all need some fruit and a good night's sleep. It's been a long day. The next morning after bre breakfast, Worm transported everyone to Bracken Castle. 
A minute later, they all appeared in the training room. Griffith came out of the Dragon Master's classroom. Great worm, how good to see you again. We've missed you, the dragon the, the wizard said. Drake's fig Drake's friends Flo, Anna and Rory followed followed Griffith. Drake intro, introduced everyone. Then they all started t talking at once. How was your trip? Bull asked. Is this another baby dragon? Rory asked, looking at Frick. And you, are you hurt, Dragon Master? On the asphalt, both side. I wish I was. That is why we are here, Diego explained. Griffith, it is clear to me, to me that Vol and Fig have formed a very strong connection in a short amount of time. Griffith nodded. I understand. To my workshop, everyone. Great and Lilo. Worm and Lilo watched through the doorway as Griff, Griffith, Diego, and the others gathered in the wizard workshop. Griffith opened up a wooden box, cur curved an image of the dragon. Inside glittered a large green stone. Dra dragon stone, show me the dragon master of Fig, the invisible dragon, Griffith said. The dragon stone in instantly glowed with bright green light. Chapter 15 A Perfect Beer The light fr from the dragon stone turned into a single beam. That beam shone right on the ball. They ho their whole body lit up with green light. Excellent, Griffith cheered. The dragon stone usually shows us the new dragon master, but Fix Dragon Master is right here. Vol's mouth opened in shock. You mean, it's me? I'm the fixed dragon master. Indeed you are, Griffith said. One a human and the dragon form a bull, bone line like one you have. The dragon still knows. And Fig can use a car carrying dragon master like you. The light from the dragon stone faded. Diego smiled. I know you're a real excellent dragon master, Vol. Griffith opened another box and took a small piece of the dragon's throne hanging a, in a gold chain. They slipped it around Vol's neck. Vol's dragon stone immediately began to glow. I could hear fix inside my head, Vol cried. Not words, but feelings. The same thing happened when Layla was just born, Curl explained. But now we understand each other's words. Fall close your eyes. Fig is hungry. Laughing, Fall hugged Fig. I will take so much good care of you, Fig. I promise. Griffith looked at Diego. Now Fall just needs the wither to learn from. Of course I'll do it. You don't need to hint, Diego said. C Carlos and Fall are already c cousins. Now they can train together. I'm excited, but I can't leave Abila all by herself, Fall said. I think it's time Abila came came to live with us, Diego replied. I'll just magic up another room on the cottage to her. She does make a wonderful almond cake. Carlos and Val grinned at each other. Diego turned to Drake. Do you think Worm would mind getting us all back to Aragon? No problem, Drake said, and he, he looked at her, his friend. Be right back. Meet us in the Valley of Clouds, Griffith said. We have a welcome home, welcome home picnic. In a flash, Worm transported Drake, Carlos, Val, Diego, Fig, and Lilo back to the wizard cottage. Thanks for letting me have a vacation here. Drake told him all. Oh, maybe one day you can come for a nice long visit and drag wagon. Later, and I would love that, Carlos replied. No vacation for me until I complete completed some training, Walt well said. Drake and, Vol Drake and Worm said goodbye to everyone. Then they transported back to the Valley of Clouds. Their friends, friends were there staring at the sky. They looked worried. Normally, white clouds floated in a black, blue sky above the valley. Now, a strange darkness was creeping across the land. Drake frowned. Isn't nighttime already? 
Those don't like storm clouds. It's not night. It is not a storm, Rumor replied. Something bad is coming.